Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you another money making guide. With this money making guide you will be able to make between 600k and 1.2 million in just 5 or 10 minutes work. The only problem, you can only do this money making method once every 2 or 3 days. Also you will need like a high cooking level because the chance of making the money is kinda based on your cooking level. And otherwise you are gonna need to complete a couple of quests before you can do this. But for the first location you have only to start giant dwarf quest and you will need 29 cooking. But of course with a higher cooking level you will have like a higher chance of getting the mature greenman ale. So first for the first location it's very close to the Grand Exchange just run north west. Go to this trap door and travel it. And once you are here you will see north of you a house with a red quest dot in it. Just go to this house. And in the northeast corner you will see a stairs. Climb up these stairs. And here we are at the fermenting vat. So here we're gonna brew or mature green ale or sometimes it will be just normal green ale. So you kinda need some luck to make your 600k or 1.2 million in one trip. If you're kinda unlucky you're only gonna make like 10k in this one trip. So it's kind of based on your luck, also on your cooking level and also there is a third option to increase your chance of getting the mature Greenman's Ale. But first we are here at an empty fermenting vat, so what you have to do here? First use your two buckets of water on it. So during the video I'm going to show you how to make the Greenman Ale, but of course there are a lot of other beers you can also brew here in this vat. So open your cooking screen and go to brewings and you will see a lot of other options what beer you can brew. Try to find out on the Grand Exchange what beer is making the most profit and once you know what beer you have to make, search them on Google or just you can find them in your cooking screen as well what ingredients you will need and you can start coming to here with the right ingredients for your beer. And it's gonna be way easier to sell them instead of all the people that now gonna make the Greenman Ale because I show this example in this video. So next use your Bolly mold on the fermenting vat as well. You can buy these ones on the Grand Exchange. So the next step you can also add the stuff to the fermenting vat. I don't have them in my inventory right now but I will explain later in the video how you can get these ones. You can get the stuff from the Trouble Brewing minigame and it will increase your chance of getting the major Greenest L with 50% so it's really recommend to get these ones. So next you have to add your 4 Haralanders to the fermenting vat as well. So just click with one Haralander on it and your character will do 4 of them in the fermenting vat. And next just use your L yeast on the fermenting vat. And now your Grimmins ale is fermenting in this vat. So now you have to wait in Calogrim between 12 and 48 hours before you can take out your Grimmins ale. If you want to do this you have to bring 8 beer glasses and just use them on the barrel. So something else people can do to make some money or just if you can't buy your L yeast on the Grand Exchange. Here in Caldergrim you will find an NPC, just talk to him, keep pressing the spacebar and here you can pick the fourth option, do you have any spare of L yeast? If you click on this option he will ask 25 GP for L yeast, so here you can buy your L yeast as well. But for that you will have to bring an empty pot but you can find one here on the table. So if you use the price checker on the L yeast you will see it's like 1.6k on the Grand Exchange. It isn't traded that often on the Grand Exchange but it's making some great money. You can just come here to Caldergrim, bring some coins and empty pots and just make like 1.6k profit on each L yeast. So for a second location you will need an Ectophil. So we're gonna empty it to teleport to there. And once inside we have to go to the pub. And here you'll find a trapdoor in the northeast corner. Open the trapdoor. And here we have to climb down. 
and this is the second location where you can brew your own beers. So here is still something in the fermenting vat if we examine it. We see that this vat is filled with mature green mist ales. So here we have the mature ones. Now we have to first turn the valve. You will see your fermenting vat is empty right now and now we have to use the beer glass on mature Greenman's L barrel and now we got Greenman L mature so let's have a view with our price checker how much money we can expect from our Greenman L mature so always buddy guide price is 488k so probably if we sell them instantly we got 488k but of course it's better to sell your Greenman L mature slowly it's around 82k each right now so people need them for their master clues so if they need them they're gonna pay the highest price anyway but let's go to the grand exchange after this trip and also after that i will explain how to get the stuff for in the permitting vat because it will increase your chance by 50 percent to get the agreement ale mature so here on the second location after putting all the ingredients in the fermenting vat you have to wait between 84 to 72 hours mostly it's gonna be around this time sometimes it can even take up to five days before your greenman ale or greenman ale mature is ready here so Caldegrim is a lot faster but of course it's way better to use the both locations so once back at the Grand Exchange, if you sell Agreement and Mature instantly, we only gonna get like 61k for them. That's not bad, but you can get way more by just selling them slowly. So we can ask around 82k each for Agreement and Mature right now. So we're gonna try to sell them slowly. And in the meantime, we are waiting to sell them. I'm gonna explain how Trouble Brewing work to collect your stuff to make your Agreement and Mature yourself. So first, before you can play this mini game, you have to complete the Cabin Fever quest. Also, you have to go to World 4 and hopefully you find somebody else that's also waiting in the waiting room here because you have to be with two players before the game will start. One in the red team and one in the blue team. So if you play this mini game only for the stuff, you have to go south to the crate and take out 28 buckets because the only thing you have to do is fill 100 buckets of water. The best place to fill your buckets of water is just outside of the house. Just use your bucket on the crane and you will get 28 buckets of water. Once you have your 28 buckets of water, you have to go back inside and search for the ladder. You can find it west in this house, climb up the ladder and when you run east in this room you will find a hopper. You have to put the 28 buckets of water in the hopper and you have to do this like 100 times each game. So to do this 100 times it will take you around 7 minutes in one game so you will have like still 13 minutes left but in fact the 30 minutes you just have to stand afk waiting until the game ends and at the end of the game you will receive 100 pieces of 8. If you do not really like to wait afk here you can start making the rum. For the rum you will receive 2 pieces of 8 and some experience at the end but without a team it's very hard to make them. Mostly you are gonna be able to make like 1 or 2 rums in the remaining 30 minutes so it will be another 4 pieces of 8 and some experience but most people just prefer to stand afk for the remaining 13 minutes and just wait until the game ends and once the game is over you will be rewarded with 100 pieces of 8 here you can trade Hannes Jimmy to buy your stuff they are costing like 50 pieces of 8 each and here you can just place them in your bank and maybe just play like another game so I was able to sell my Greenman Ale Mature for 82k each, so another 574k and that's a total of 637k profit. Of course if you only ask 61k each you're gonna make a lot less money than I did right now. But I was showing the Greenman Ale Mature in this video but if you go to your cooking screen and to browing you will see you are able to make like a lot of other stuff and 
every one had like a major form as well. Of course, before choosing one, just check out the price of each ale or each kind of beer on the Granic chains to see what one is making the most profit in the major form and just start to making these ones. I hope you can use this money making guide. Subscribe to my channel for more money making guides or any other videos. Thanks for watching.